Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Arjun. Today we are going to talk about uh, combo chart. So combination chart are one weaves that use multiple marks type in the same visualization. So let's look at our uh, final visualization. So this is our combo chart. So where bar uh, the, this bullet graph uh, is a combination of bullet graph and the line graph. So the bullet indicates the sales and the target comparison and the line indicates the running sales. So, so let's start building the views. Now I'll go to order date and I'll drag to the columns and I'll make it to year, month. Let's take a month. So now I'll drag, drag order date to the filters again. Let's drag again. I'll take year. I'll click on 2017. So now my months and the sales order are coming based on the 2017. So I'll take sales and I'll take my target. I'll go to show me, click on the bullet graph. Yes, now the bullet graph is ready. So if you look at the bullet graph, the dashed line indicates the average sales and the bar indicates the the target. So I want to swap it now. So I'll go to target. I'll right click on it. Swap the reference lines. So now the dashed line indicates the average target and the bar indicates the sales. So bullet graph is ready now, but I want to make uh, the combo charts which including the line graph. So line graph, I'll drag the sales again to the next i'll take one more axis for the sales okay and i'll go to the drop down i'll click on dual axis Done. i'll make it uh, so if you look at my marks so the sales of both the uh, axis indicates the bar so i want to make one sales the second axis into a line so i'll click on the line done so now you can see the the sales, the because the sales are same in the uh, bar and uh, as well as the line. What I'll do, I'll go to, I'll change the color. Let me color change the color of line. Let me change it to red color. Sorry, I think it's a bar. Let's let's make this dark, and let's go to the sales of line, and make a color. This. And I'll take my markers like this. So now I want to make my uh, sales like running average sales. So how will I do that? I'll click on the drop down here. Add table calculations. You have a calculation type. So you have here, as you can see, running total. But I want a running total not as the sum. I want an average. Okay, done. It's on table across. Fine. Yes, now you can see the combination of line and bar, bullet graph. So what, here the, you can see the dashed line, two lines are coming. So it's not synchronized. Let's go to right side axis. Synchronize, yes, now it's done. So let me put a labels for this. Show market labels. And for the bar also, show mark labels, done. Okay, but here it's overlapping, right? So let me do one thing. Let me go to alignment, done. Okay, fine. So now you can see the this bar indicates your sales and this indicates your target. And this indicates your running average sales. So if you compare the first value same, but if you come to the next point, which is February, where you can see the running sales, it's varying, right? Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll, I don't want my, the, if I hover on my line graph, I don't want to see the uh, target and the sales. I want to see only the running average sales. And if I hover on my bar, I want to see only the sales. So what I'll do, I'll go to my, uh, line tool tips. I 
and delete this okay yes if i hover on this now i can see only running average sales let me go to the bar go to tool tips i want to see only sales okay so now if you hover on this sales and next is the target and this is an average so now uh, if i consider here i have taken the target right so this target if you look at if you refer or if you use the sample superstore there is no target actually field measures so now what i'll do i did is i taken one more created one more dummy calculated field based on my sales like if a sales is less than or equal to 2000 then sales into 0.93 else if sales is greater than 2000 then sales into 1.15 that's how I created my target calculated field. Fine. So now, so the, the what out of this bullet graph indicates, you know, there are three bar, actually the colors combination you can see here. The first thing is if you hold on here, the 60% the of average target, the, this is the first part. And the second one is 80% of average target. That means 60%. If the target is, if this is my sales, let's say if the sales bar is below the 60% of average target, then it is in a very bad condition. And if it is below 80 but above 60, then it is a good, a satisfactory. If it is above 80%, then it is a good. And this is the one way of doing the uh, combination of bullet and the uh, average sales running average sales there's another way of doing the running average sales using you the calculated field let's look into it how we can do that so what i'll do i'll go to sheet 5 i'll duplicate this and i'll remove the sales from here done i'll go to sales again create calculated field Heading is running average sales. Okay. So I have function running average. Okay. So what I want? I want the sales. Right. So, but if you look at down, the calculation contains an error. So what is error? So all field must be aggregated or constant when using the table calculation function or fields from the multiple data source. So it's asking if we need to aggregate this sum of sales. So what I'll do, I'll write, I'll write some formula. Yes, now the calculation is valid. Okay. So let's do the, drag the running average sales to the rows. Again, follow the same thing. Make it to dual axis. Convert this bar into line. Okay, but it's coming way high, right? Above, right? So what I'll do, I'll go to and synchronize this axis. Yes. So I will change the color of the line. I'll make it to red color. Done. Okay. So I'll hide this so that can be bigger. So now I think the waves are same. You look at here and the way. So this is how the two ways of two type of you know methods of creating the uh, combination of bullet graph and the line graph. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.